OK, here we have a terminal open to our Postgres demo. And the first thing we're going to do is jump into our Kubernetes cluster running our Postgres database. Our Postgres database exists in the Postgres 1 namespace. Here you can see there is a single container running our database. And we can exec into that pod so that we can access the CLI to introduce some data and look at some data. So we are using the test database. We're going to connect locally here and look at some data that we have pre-populated into the posts table. So there's a couple posts here just as a sample data set to verify that our backup and restore is working properly. This Postgres database is using a PV and PVC inside the cluster to store that state. So what we can do is within PX backup, we can dive into our Postgres in one namespace and view all the objects associated with it, such as the deployment, the secret, which is for the password, config maps, persistent volume, and claim. We're going to back up the entire namespace because we want to grab all those resources. In this case, what you'll do is give it a name select the backup location, in this case backups is in Amazon S3, and select our pre-backup rule, which is going to run a checkpoint command on the database before it takes a snapshot to make sure that the backup is consistent. So volumes are going to be backed up first to make sure all the data from that backup is secure, and then it will complete all the objects. Uh, such as the config maps, secrets, deployment, configuration inside Kubernetes. And once all that gets done, then your backup will be complete. So this is where uh, it'll turn green. Great, so the backup is reporting success. So that means our PVCs and all the Kubernetes objects are available in our backup location. So now we're free to have a disaster we'll call it. So we're going to delete our namespace Postgres 1, which blows away everything inside of it, including the deployment, the PVCs, all the data. And so we need to be able to restore all that information, which we just took a backup from. So there's nothing available running in that, in that namespace now. So we can click on that backup, look at the JSON to verify. Yeah, it did use our pre-checkpoint rule which makes us confident that it did uh, run the checkpoint command to make sure our database is a application consistent backup. And we can click on that backup and restore it by giving it a restore name, selecting the same Kubernetes cluster because we want to restore the same namespace in this case. So we don't want to change the namespace name and replace anything that's in that namespace because we're just starting clean from this backup. We can watch this namespace to see when the backup restores the volumes first. It will go from pending to in progress, making sure all the data gets um, restored to the cluster. And that's our one Postgres volume. Once the data is there, then it will continue on and, and restore the objects. So we saw creating. So backup and restore success, five objects, including the deployment. PVCs and everything. So now we're back up and running already. And what we need to do is verify that our restore properly restored the data. And if we don't have any corruption, we can still interact with the database and continue to use it. So what we can do is jump into the pod that's running now and use the Postgres CLI and connect to our test database, which is still there. So this is good. And verify the data in our posts table. So we're going to select the same um, table posts. And there's our two uh, records, which shows you that the backup and restore worked. Our pre-checkpoint ran with the checkpoint command to make sure it is application consistent or Postgres. So I hope this was useful for you. And until next time, take care.